Ron Klain, I think that's how you say his name. Ron Klain is leaving within a few weeks, I believe. And um uh and um a new uh chief justice, I'm sorry, a new chief of staff that is is taking over. So let me just read a little bit of this. So press reports on the weekend, not denied by the White House, indicated that President Joe Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, would step down within a few weeks to, de- to be replaced by Jeff Zietz. I think that's how you say it. Zietz, the multi-million uh, millionaire who was formerly Biden's COVID, uh, I'm sorry, coronavirus coordinator. The transition will reportedly take place soon after Biden's State of the Union address set for February 7th. While Klain had told some insiders, as well as author Chris Whipple, that he expected to leave the White House at some point after the after November's uh, midterm election, the timing of his departure is remarkable. It leaves in the midst of it, he leaves in the midst of the most serious domestic political crisis of the Biden administration, with the finding of classified documents in at least five separate locations, including Biden's home in Wilmington, Delaware. On Saturday, FBI agents visited the home and conducted a nine-hour search operation, which uncovered some additional classified documents of unknown sensitivity, including some dating back as far as Biden's tenure in the U.S. Senate before he left to become Barack Obama's president. The search was at the invitation of Biden and his lawyers, both personal and at the White House. These attorneys attended the search and monitored the actions of the agents while Biden, speaking to the press in in, uh, Washington, declared that there was no there there in the purported scandal and that he had no regrets about his conduct. As the as the uh, as the uh, World Socialist website pointed out last week, the real scandal is the is not the handling of the classified documents, but their very existence. The purpose of classification is to conceal the crimes of American imperialism, in which Biden has been up to his neck for half a century from the American people. And I'll pause it there. What are your thoughts, though, on classified documents just as a general thing? Um, have you even given this any thought before uh, uh, this yeah, yeah, story? This, like- this, yeah, this first time I've seen this article. Um, but yeah, this, 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 one of the things I said in, in our uh, earlier segment where a lot of the disappointment that you, you see from the corporate news is uh, over the ruling class inability to handle this stuff, right? <laughs> uh, but they, they, they all... Are incompetent. They may be do over, uh, over classify stuff. Uh, sometimes, like I seen, I heard they like will classify schedule meetings and stuff and like random school trips. But yeah, it's an interesting story. I haven't really uh, read that much. I'm still kind of following now. But go ahead, yeah. absolutely. So uh, for Biden's right hand man to leave at this point is certain to undermine the White House response to mounting attacks in the media and from congressional re- uh, Republicans and even some Democrats. The classified documents crisis comes together with the prospects of multiple hostile investigations by House Republicans. Now that they have taken control of the chamber, as well as the uh, prospect of a full-blown financial crisis triggered by Republicans' refusal to raise uh, by the federal debt limit. The position of the White House Chief of Staff does not require confirmation by the Senate. Let me take this down first here. Uh, by the Senate, both Clay and any successor are appointed by the president and his sole dis- at his sole discretion and will occupy a position of enormous power without any democratic process. The Chief of Staff will play a particular crucial role given Biden's age, 80 years, which obviously limits his ability to oversee the vast apparatus of the American capitalist state. The replacement of Ron Klain by Zayitz would represent a further shift to the right by the Biden administration. Klain, while a longtime right-wing capitalist political operative, maintained a certain pretense of liberalism and was the White House official in closet uh, touch with the, I'm sorry, 
in closest uh, touch with the House Progressive Caucus and left liberals like uh, AOC and other members of the Democratic Socialists. Zayats, by contrast, worked first in the Obama administration and then the Biden White House always has an administrative, always as an administrative czar who could make the trains run on time while riding roughshod while riding roughshod over the concerns and needs of workers. During his time as deputy chief of, of the OMB office, or under Obama, he was the point man for implementing a wage freeze for federal uh, government workers in 2010. He would be the wealthiest man ever to hold the position of White House chief of staff. Zayas has a fortune estimated between 400 million and 700 million. This was... Uh, derived at least in part from consulting for uh, health care companies seeking to drive up efficiency and productivity. And I'll pause there or stop there in the article. And that is the new chief of staff. And this also talks about classified documents and how they're connected and concealing imperialism, Nick. 